How's it going, guys? This is Eben, your Another independent. Mark. Yep, Mark. Yep, got Mark. And I'm your independent Amsoil dealer. So, what I do is I save people time and money on all different equipment cars, trucks, SUVs, anything. So, the first thing we're doing is we're doing our uh, synthetic dot three dot four brake fluid. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bleeding the brake lines on this 2011 Honda Fit. It's the sport model with the nice alloy wheels. But the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and suck out this fluid. So come on in here, check it out. You see all that old grayish brake fluid. And what you do is you come with an extraction pump and just suck it all out. So there's no special way about doing it. You can do it with any type of hand pump. Um, but yeah, just suck it out as much as you can. And, and then what we're going to do is put in our fresh fluid and, and bleed the whole brake system. All right, we sucked out as much as we could. And uh, for a little extra due diligence, what we'll do is we'll go right on ahead and wipe out a little of this extra residue around the corners and stuff. Just try to pretty it up as much as we can. And that's pretty much it. All we do is open up our dot three dot four brake fluid. And just fill it all the way up. The fresh fluid. We're on our last wheel here, and uh, we just did all three. And you start when you do this. You start at the back corner, the furthest from the brake reservoir, and you move your way to the, the closest to the brake reservoir. Brake reservoir is in the left front hand side. So the furthest away is the back right, and that's where we started. So we're wrapping her up. We're taking this cute little guy off. I want you guys to watch two fingers here. You ready? Watch. Look at that. Look at this cute little guy. Look how light that little wheel is. I love a good Honda Fit. My favorite economy car. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, bleed these brakes. Come on over here, Pop. Pop off this cute little rubber nipple. Little teeny guy. Sometimes it's a little bit of a stickler. Take her off. And now, Mark, put your foot on the brake. Got it there? Yeah. Now push down on the brake and don't let up until I say so. Okay. All right, push down. Keep constant pressure pushing down. Okay. Push. Keep it down. Okay. Got it to the floor? Yeah. Don't let it up yet. All right, go ahead and um, let your foot up. All the way? Yep, all the way. Okay. Got it all the way up? Yeah. Now push all the way down. Push. Let your foot up. Push. Let it up. Let it all the way up. Good. Yeah, all the way. Push. All the way down. Let it up. Push. Let it up. Got it up. Push. Done bleeding the brakes, pretty easy procedure. It does take two people. And now we got our uh, brake cleaner and we're just getting all this stuff off here. Really easy, just kind of get clean with it. Take your old little nipple, go ahead and put it back on for protection. And that's it, we throw the wheel back on. Time to do the radiator, let's do it. All right, we just got done bleeding all the brakes and now all we do this is our old fluid. So you can see it's got a little bit of a tinge to it. You see some metallic particles in there, and that's normal. That's about what your brake fluid looks like in about 70, 80,000 miles. If you let it go to 100,000 miles, the brake fluid, if it's very hot where you're at, depending on how you drive it, it can turn into jelly, and uh, the brake pedal won't return when you push it down and then eventually it can corrode stuff in there and you can have to have your whole brake system replaced. But if you change it early, you never got to worry about it. So let's go ahead and top her up. You can see in here, we're all nice and clean. Let's put our fresh fluid in and here we go. And 
That's it. We're all done. It's time to drain our radiator fluid on this cute little guy. And there's a little teeny butterfly valve that's right down here. And all we do is just twist it. And here we go. There she goes. Just unthread her out. And that's it. Just let her drain on down. We can open up our cap up here. Right here. And listen, ready? One, two, three. And there she goes. That's it. All we do is replace this once it all drains out. We're moving. Time to put our very low toxicity radiator uh, fluid, which is coolant. And we're also doing our coolant boost. And what the coolant boost does is it uh, lowers your operating temperature up to 25 degrees less. Now, a lot of people think you're gonna see your thermostat 25 degrees lower, and that's not gonna be the situation. Um, I've done it on many cars. You're not gonna see really a change in temperature, but what this does is allows the molecules to get closer to the aluminum, so your car will heat up twice as fast, and also it'll run cooler, meaning since the water's pulling more heat out of the car from the, from the radiator, you're gonna find that your oil temperatures are lower and you're gonna find your car running stronger because uh, it, the, the car's not heating up as much of the air. So less uh, heat underneath the hood. So that's the nice part. So on this car, this car only takes like four and a half quarts of uh, coolant and uh, distilled water. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our boost here and uh, we're only doing half a bottle that's all you need because uh, yeah a little bit of a stickler and that's it here we go half a bottle going down we'll be back cool. all right so now we're putting in our uh, coolant this is good for five years 150,000 miles and there's your spec on the back. And we're gonna only put in 20% uh, fluid because this car is not gonna be driven where it's below freezing. So uh, we're not gonna use as much. And that's for two reasons. Um, number one, with less of this, the car will run a little bit cooler. You don't need as much. Uh, but most places, if you live where it's very cold, you wanna run 50-50, that's the normal. Here in Vegas, we're running 20%. So we're gonna go ahead and just put in uh, about a quart and a half. All right. All right, and we're gonna wrap it up with our distilled water. Distilled water has all the minerals out of it, so it won't allow any calcification or any uh, corrosion inside the aluminum block. It's very important to always use distilled water. So here we go. We're just gonna fill her up until she overflows. Just a little bit of coolant into the reservoir just to make sure um, even if it gets cold it won't freeze in there. So that should be good. Now we'll do the rest of distilled water. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. We're all good. Notes were all wrapped up. The last thing we add is our PI performance improver. This increases fuel mileage up to 5.7% in just one bottle. And I'll show you how easy it is. And what it does is it cleans your fuel injectors, cleans your valves, and it cleans all the ethanol tarnish out of your entire fuel system, all in just one bottle. So it only takes a finger, see, just one finger. And now we just do a little shake -a And that's it. Now, is that easy cleaning or what? It's and awesome. uh, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call. I'm Eben, your independent AMS oil dealer. If you're a commercial account, 
retail anything. And uh, well, Mark, how's your preferred customer membership? Come on in here, Mark. It's unbelievable. I'm getting unbelievable gas mileage. I know my brakes will run a lot smoother, better. The performance is like 150 times better than you know what uh, my old car offered. So I'm happy. Awesome. And what's the thing you like most about when we changed the motor oil and the transmission fluid? What was the biggest difference? What did you feel? I felt that the ride was a lot much smoother, all right? I felt uh, just more free out on the road. Like I'm my own man and that like nothing could bother me. And uh, just the performance was so much better and a little faster too. And I love the, the gas mileage that it gets. What are you averaging about? I would say 29 miles per gallon right now. Wow, that's um, pretty good. That's really good. Cool. All right. all right, we'll see you guys back next time. In the description below, you'll see all my links. If you want to order AMSOIL, order it down there. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. We'll see you guys.